What's up everyone, Polius here. Welcome to a brand new episode, or a brand new Let's Play, sorry. Return of the Obra Dinn. My best friend got this for me a few months ago for uh, my birthday, and I, you know, now that I've, I've finally moved in, internet's fixed, computer is working once again, I can try this game out. I don't know anything about it. I started playing for, as it says, two minutes, and then realized my contact uh, so it was... My contact container didn't have any solution in it. I had to go fix that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and restart. So, Lost at Sea, 1803. The good ship Oberdin. Built in built 1796 in London. 800 tons. 18 foot drop. Captain R. Witterell. Crew, 51 men. Last voyage to the Orient. Cape Rendezvous unmet. Contact the East India Company London office for inquiry and testimony. Uh, yeah, so I do know there's going to be some uh, British city names mentioned. I may pronounce them wrong. I'm sorry. The Honorable East India Company. Attention, Chief Inspector. Insurance and Claims. London office. Oberdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. Great. Game complete. Good job. We're done. And yes, this does take a while to load. Um, I don't know why this is. I mean, this wasn't hard to read. Because I'm tight. Company man woke me up. They do that. Said you'd need ferry to the Obred Inn. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late, if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. Hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. I'm actually looking up what Ober... If there's any, like, history to the Ober... Oh, this is lovely. Where is that? Um, so I don't see any, uh, any, do I losty my way up? Ha. Guess I just, what are these graphics? I love them. I actually have a glut of games from, uh, Christmas season to, uh, to play. Uh, and some more recent stuff. Uh, another friend of mine, uh, anyone who watches Sentinels of the Multiverse knows that I picked up, uh, knows Jason, picked up Wargroove for me. I want to try that out. I saw my boss playing that um, between uh, before a show, and it's just, oh, it's wonderful. As I said, it pushes all my buttons. All right, so space interact. Or, oh. No, this door will open. Aha. Uh -huh. Can I open this? Oh, it's messy. Messy, messy, messy. What is that? Hi! Hi! Something that we do at work. Uh, when some of the guys are on their horses waiting for uh, the show, and some others will walk down backstage, you know, they'll wave, "Hi!" Doing the. Uh... All right. So what do I? Yeah. And then we just start quoting uh, Wind Waker lines. Thank you. It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. This book. This book too heavy. Are you weakling? All right. D. Return of the Oberdin: A Catalog of Adventure and Tragedy. Preface. I trust that you now find yourself aboard Oberdin. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. 
Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. Next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. So like 200 people, no, 25 people. Uh, the bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the deals within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. Mm hmm. There's your up. Yep, yep. Alright. So, which cape rendezvous? Was this the cape rendezvous that they mentioned? Uh. I'm assuming that's all. Oh, I can just, uh... Alright. Hmm. Yes. I, uh... Okay. The Orlop deck. Very important. All right, crew and complete cap passenger manifest. Well, hold on a second, Henry Evans. Henry Evans, what are you doing here? Uh, I yeah, okay. So uh, none of these names are are sticking out to me. Okay, so crew 25, but apparently there was also 35 passengers, right? Uh, or am I just misremembering what the crew of the Oberdin? Sketches of life aboard the Oberdin. Uh, all right. So, Formosan royalty. I'm actually not familiar with Formosa. But ES. Um, does anyone have an ES name? So that's probably, I'm sure that that's going to come up, though. Loose cargo. Look. <gasps> All right. Oh, thank God we got some section for the Orlop deck. Murder. Murder. I read that as the culling for it. I was like, ah. There we go. Unholy captives. Um. Sure, soldiers of the sea. What am I doing? Oh, hey. I did that by accident. Glossary. Yeah, Captain Mate, I know Bosun. It's the boat swain. They're the one that basically runs the ship. Uh, Surgeon, purser, carpenter, helmsman. Helmsman controls the ship. Steward is. Um, He's in charge of the captain's affairs, right? General duties for the comfort of their employer. Yeah. Hi, higher officer. Okay, so yeah, the captain's steward, usually. His first mate right here, so he's the executive officer. Midshipmen are young officers. They're, they're, uh, one book I have describes them as the larval officer stage. Topman I'm not familiar with. High-rated seaman. Okay, so that's an older term. Uh, rigging, they use the ropes and... Uh, that's the ropes and chains. Yep. Main deck is the top. Uh, gun deck is below with the guns. Yeah. The Orlop deck. Mid deck above the lowest deck containing the storage cabins, animal pens, and the ship's steering tiller. Alright, I did not know that. What? So. Wait, I recognize that skull thing. Memento mortem. Remember. Death. Uh, it's the stopwatch, okay. Th this all was too heavy for you, old man? Sure thing. Lazy jerk. 
Now, if you excuse me, I have to go on the creepy boat. I'm sorry, this isn't a boat. This is a ship. It's a proper looking ship. Can I run? Can I ring the bell? I cannot. Alright. Is that getting closer? Or is that... See, I don't know. Is this a murder mystery or is this a horror game? Should I be afraid? Or should I, I be inquisitive? I'm the king of the world. I need to be at the prowl for that. Um, so it looks like somebody let the mast out during a storm, or let the sails out during a storm, and that's what happens. Alright, now I'm the king of the world. Anyway. Actually, I have a confession to make. I have never seen Titanic. Nor do I really actually intend to. Um, I'm not a fan of James Cameron's work. Well, hold on. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Music cue and, and stuff. Captain! Open the door! Kick it in. Ah! Lest we break it down and take more than those shells! Oh, dear. He's got some axe. He's got shot. That's the captain, I bet. He's shooting the gun. Yeah, so I'm uh, gonna say that he's probably dead. Yeah. That's right underneath the clavicle. That's actually usually dead. Okay. Um. Get out of the way of that. What's going on here? He's flipped his table over? Did you have a bad game of, uh, of, uh, Euchre or something going on there? Wait, wait, I could actually identify them to the... Oh, no. Yep. So, we're doing some memento here. I know the ending now. That's a gun. Who is this? How did they die? Alright, three others were present. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. This person's face appears blurred throughout the book. This blurring indicates that you don't have sufficient information to determine their identity. They met an unfit. Their fate may be known and can be entered now. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Carry on and pay attention. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Well, we know what the captain looked like. So that's true of... Location of corpse. But also, I mean, we know what the captain looked like. So, Q, back to here. The crew. So, if I go like this, I should be able to. Uh, I should be able to identify the captain. Or not. All right, well, sure.
I wanna... Alright, you. Here we go. This is, so this is how it works. I hold right click. I, I must... Oh! Oh, I get it now! So that identifies his face, so now if I go to here, go back to Derpeter, um, the end, go like this, but it told me. It told me he was the captain. I don't understand. I'm actually legit confused now. Um, all right. Can I do another identification? Am I am I trapped in this world? One in. There was the failed murder weapon. Just walk out then. Oh, th there's a body there now. Hello. Oh, and this replays it. Captain, open the door. Kick it in. Ah, lest we break it down and drink. More than those shells. How? Oh no. All right. Sure. Oh. Tell me your secrets. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at That's the captain the again. bottom of the sea. That's a lie. This is unpleasant. What's that? Uh, spear? You're the captain. And this is that guy again. Yep, that's great. I still, apparently I'm not allowed to know who you are. So the gun was on empty. Oh. So the captain's door has two entryways. All right, so we know his fate. I don't care about this guy, he's already dead. Yeah, so the unknown soul met his fate. We don't have sufficient information to determine this person's identity. Oh wait, further clues. Got it. Um, but wait. We do have sufficient information. Yeah, so his face is no longer blurred. Use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity or visit memories of the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book, maps, crew manifest, artist sketches, along with the individual conversation, most to find clues about him. There were 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Maybe I shouldn't be less playing this. Decisive information is rare. You will have to make an assumption using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. Or block. Alright, you're the captain. 
Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. Justice at Sea sketch. Oh, is that this? Is this the Justice at Sea? Oh, okay, yeah, the guy's being hung there. I probably should have noticed that. Alright, but we don't know what happened to the captain. Alright, well. Is there any other information in here? I'd love to sail on one of these big ships one day. Oh. Oh no! He's coming in from behind, Captain! Watch out! Right? Like that that is what's happening. He's like, Yahar! Yeah, he's got a knife between his teeth and everything. He's going full on buccaneer. Anything else? You know, it was so much easier to do murder investigations back in the uh, 17, late 1700s. How many other people would be able to just look into the past? It's a lost art, I tell you. I, I, is that the same guy? It probably is. Oh, those footsteps are creepy. You're dead. Ooh, what you say? Only meant when. Yeah, I think that is the same guy. Yeah. You are. Alright, well. Back through this door. That's not the captain either. Got the captain from behind? No! Oh my goodness, this captain is a beast! It's captain Whitfield. He's like, no! I'm gonna bonk you in the noggin! Yep, well, I think we know your fate, sir. You should have been more quiet when you were running. We know your fate? But we don't know who the heck you are. So are there any more dropsy doodles over here? Oh, hello. There's only a few women. The women will be pretty easy to uh, ascertain. Oh, what's going on here? It's going black! Ah. ah! Inside the captain's quarters. What's the dialogue for that? It's... All right. So we didn't see what that woman looked like on this picture. We also don't know what, what came of the captain. Right? Right, there, there wasn't... Oh, okay, there she is. Wait, well, well, I saw something up here. Tab, okay. The book while um, examining a face to flip directly to the sketch. All right. Yeah, we don't know, know anything about her. We know the captain. Uh. Did 
got some corpses in there. What's this? All right. Oh, oh, that's what that is. It's a skylight. Okay. But there was obviously a clue in here of a sort. So he was oh no he's not hanged. He's he's being suspended, so he's shot. Okay. Okay. And yeah, I mean, uh, so if anyone's bothered by the, the visuals of, of harsh summary justice, that's a thing that happened back during this time on these ships. Um, these ships were very much crucibles, which made uh, hard men out of out of people. Anything else? I'm sure those time time stamps that the stopwatch is showing up. Abigail, your brother, my friend. I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon. Captain is blowing his own brains out. Yeah, it's what's happening. So now we know his fate. Does this tell us that this is Abigail then? Um, I mean, odds are good. Uh, is, this... is there another Witterell in here? Hoskin, okay. But anyway. Yeah, it's clear enough that I'm willing to... <coughs> you know, she's probably not... Oh, I mean, you know. She's, but she's probably not sleeping in the captain's cabin. Uh... So this guy is probably William Hoskett then. Uh, he was shot. Is that a, is that a shot with a gun by Robert Woodrow? I did it! Fates are validated in sets of three. Correct, identify at least three people in their fates to have information type set into the book. Okay. Well, we know that the captain committed suicide at the hand of the captain. Well, am I allowed to determine his fate? Who is this? How did die? Alright, 
Uh, I mean, as soon as I, I'm sure I'll come across that. Who is this? How did die? Anything else here? Oh, uh oh, uh oh! Here it goes. I'm blacking out. I'm out. Here we go. Captain Robert Witterell was suicide by gun. I mean, unless Abigail was dead. Just a mess. I mean, if no one was present, then that does imply that Miss Abby was not alive. We'll find out in a moment, I guess. Um, well, what does that mean? Ah, she was dead. I'm guessing a sickness of a sort. I'm guessing your name is Martin. Perot. Is that Parrot or Perot? But I'm gonna guess. <laughs> Way to bury the lead, guys. Alright, so we're gonna start up here and get some imagery. Wait, wait. We've... No, we haven't seen that guy yet. No, 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 I'm not done, Mr. Kraken. The Doom. Uh, how do I know that? It, I guess. So we do now, I mean, what would this be? This is terrifying to consider, but not alive, crushed. I'm not a doctor. I don't know how to word it. I was bonked in the noggin. Um, struck. No, it's by a wing. 
Uh, that's a for for final for for crush. I, I gotta go see that again. Oh, wow. Uh. Uh, excuse me a moment. I'm going to just double check the definition of rigging. See, the thing about sailing ships is that because of how important, like, if I'm going to say that I need this pulled in a specific direction, there needs to be very specific words so that someone can say, I don't know, I don't know what that is, but like, you know, you know, topsail to the main spar or whatever. And that, that tells everyone, oh, space. Anyway, rigging definition. So I'm going to look up, because if that's rigging, I want to know. System of ropes, cables, or chains employed to support a ship's masts. Standing rigging, and to control the yards and sails. Running rigging. So, this is a mast. That's not, that's not ropes, chains, or anything else. Stuck. Take me away. Push. All right. All right. Um, sure, but. Sorry, sir. Where where'd he go? Alright, cup dude, there he is. That's not terribly obscure, so that means Tagging these guys as best I can, but oh, that's so cool! Throw me the gun! I'm throwing you the gun! Okay. I don't know who this man is. I don't think I have enough information to identify him. It's going wild! There's that guy again. So 12 others present. Oh, Lord, he is actually being ripped in half. So I can at least say that he was torn apart by a beast. 
All right. Um, you find your name, sir. Oh. Oh, I get this now. I'm going to have to wrap this up soon, but take me there. Take me to his fate. I don't know. I mean, so long as I'm making progress, I would be totally up for continuing this game. Though, I, I, I do kind of... I don't know what I mean by this. There's a man in there. Oh, Lord! Alright, not that guy is. So, he... done did explode. that guy whose name remains unknown oh you're falling but I must know the doom Five others were present. So I don't know who this man is, but I do know that he exploded. I, I can't get in there. There's that guy again. I am, like, dreams within a dream here. Uh, shouldn't I... I know his... that he is, like, shouldn't I get, like, a, another... Hold my hand up, like, the blong kind of thing. But... All right, let's go back to the captain's cabin. Yeah. Sorry, it's gonna sound a little awful, but I wanna make sure that I got everything here. darkness. Alright, yeah, so it looks like... So I need to go back to Abigail's fate. Uh, also, now we can sort of see the damage here. Actually looks pretty good.
We're gonna just go back in here real quick. Let me check something. Tab. A Q. The crew. Where is. Let's get literal. Ah, okay, so yeah, they're married. I completely missed that. Alright. Directly to the. Uh, that's, that's convenient. So you did not come to an unknown fate. You were crushed by a. Was that by a beast? No, I don't, I don't need to see this again. Actually, I kind of do. Also, apparently I have enough to know about that guy. Certainly not alive, not axed, not burned, not clawed, clubbed by a beast. Crushed by a not rigging. Not any of these. It just expired from old age, certainly not that. Struck. No. Speared. No. I think it's actually clubbed by a beast. Hey! Let's leave this horrible memory. I think that's actually a good place to leave it. That's hilarious. Um, monitor. What? I'm actually gonna keep the Mac look. I'm not. I'm not an Apple dude, but I you know, like. I, I've grown to like this. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I will see you all next time.